Alec, welcome to E3 2021 Extravaganza. Extravaganza. You know, I have to say, we haven't really had a whole lot to talk about so far. Nothing very extravagant. We touched on no. Ubisoft and Gearbox. Uh, we didn't watch Summer Games Fest, which technically isn't part of E3. It's Jeff Keighley's middle finger, essentially, to the the conglomerate. I don't know, the panel, the board of E3. Basically, it's his competing the event. Man. Yeah, it's his competing event. <laughs> and he kind of nailed it, in my opinion. I think he did a pretty good job. Really? He, it, was, it was good. So what does he have against E3? It was like... Um, I think he asked to be a part. I think he, he like asked to be a part of something at E3 this year, and they just straight up were like, they they was like no, they they like denied his application. Yeah. So, so I think as they know, it's like Christian Harloff all over again. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Well, he uh, well he did. You could just you know. <laughs> they can say um, no. You could just say no. Yeah, don't come in here. Don't come in the booth and yell at me. It's like don't don't yell at me. Don't do this on air. You know, it's like um but uh anyway, we have Microsoft to talk about now and Xbox and Bethesda Xbox together and Bethesda. joined Xbox the the, the beautiful families have joined previously. You know, I I really love um Peter Hines. No. Spencer something Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer. I love Phil Spencer. Love that guy. I, I really do. I think he's great with that guy. I think he's great. I honestly, I, I, I love his. Just he's just very gung ho. He's always very stoked about Xbox. He's the head <laughs> he of the company. Loves he's always, things. He loves his thing. But like honestly, like I just think he's, he's great. I really like him. He's like the closest thing we have to a Reggie these days. So he will be canceled within the year. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a shame. Wait, um, till, wait till you hear the dark secrets of Phil Spencer. So there was a lot of there was a lot of stuff that they showed uh, here in comparison to the other ones. It was a it was a good hour hour and a half long. This one hour was so this is one of the longer. It was felt like a traditional uh, type of E three presser. And they even set it up like it. They had the stage. Yeah. And everything. And Microsoft are um, no stranger to doing this. Every year they just pile on. It's like, and they like to gloat about how many games they showed off each year. We have, th- yeah, they do. Thirty they do games every time. to show this year. Oh, wow, thirty games. Twenty-seven of them uh, are on Game, game Pass. Pass. That's yeah. honestly okay. Real talk. Game Pass on your. That's ass. huge. I, 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 I have to say. I mean, I think in the past, maybe even our past E three reactions, I've been kind of like, yeah, that's cool, I guess. I, the more I think about it, the more awesome that whole concept is. Yeah. Like, I, I just think it's so, it's fascinating. Because I, I don't, I, do, I, I would assume that Game Pass for them is probably running at a loss. The reason for it being, they have to pay, they pay like a huge lump sum to all the developers, the games that they get put on Game Pass. Um, and like 10 to $15 a month, is not making up for like all of the sixty dollar releases that are on Game Pass. Yeah. Um. There's just no way. There's no way that that's actually keeping up. But it's a great deal if you're if you're okay with having games digitally and just kind of downloading them. I mean, the cool thing to me, I watched a lot of these things on on with Pete, kind of Pete's co stream. Um. And uh, I mean, he was just making the making the point. He's like, yeah, I'll give that a try at some point. You know, it's like maybe, maybe it's not my huge thing, but it's on Game Pass. I'll give it a shot. Sure. Yeah, I think that's things, such a, yeah. yeah, I think that's just such an awesome concept. Like, no, it's on Game Pass. Yeah, I give it a shot. Maybe you play for like a couple hours. You're like, yeah, it's not my thing, but it's there. It's there for you. You know? Yeah. What a, what a wild, what a wild world what that wild Microsoft world is, is, is weeding. So start bringing us through. What, what did they, what did they start the conference off with? Well, they started the conference by saying we finally have something to show you for Starfield. Starfield is here. Here's a here's a first look at Starfield. Which was literally just an in engine like They cucked us on that one. Look. It was yeah, it wasn't much. It was the biggest um, most cuckish move they did of the night, but <laughs> it was the big <laughs> get cucked gamers. Like, <laughs> so they they're were they're like, Oh wow, Starfield is starting the game of the thing of strong finally... and they're gonna show us some in game footage. Let's go. What's going no. on in here? Because we've literally seen nothing from that game since then, mm-hmm. like since they announced it. And I think this has been like a project, an internal project at Bethesda for like 
like 20 years or something this has been in the making like kind of like just in the sort of like early sort of development phases for like a really long time and they've only just recently the last like maybe five six years started actually kind of trying to make it yeah i mean it wasn't much but i it's coming out next year uh it's you know they'll show more then is it really they'll show year? more later that seems i think crazy. so yeah um there's more it's like really a concept thing it's like do you like the idea of like an open world thing in space oh yeah yeah that sounds cool all right we'll just trust <laughs> trust like, us on it it's gonna just be trust good. us on it but just trust us bethesda our track record has been great recently right yeah mm. <laughs> maybe not Fallout 76 is better than ever and wait till yeah. we get to all the awesome updates you can go to pittsburgh and stuff so. yeah they're gonna have a they're gonna have a yeah, they're going to have basically the Fallout 3 sort of expansion for it or whatever. Mm -hmm. They're like, Elder Scrolls Online has 18 million subscribers. I'm or sorry to hear about Elder Scrolls Online at every Bethesda conference. I'm like, yeah, it's not, I, I, apparently it's it's doing good for I'm them. Like, Where's the trading card game? I missed I missed that this year. Where are they at? Oh, where are they talking about? What was it called again? <laughs> it's just Elder Scrolls cards. I don't, I don't know. Remember, I don't remember what it's called. They, I don't remember what it's called. Being, I'm always annoyed whenever it popped up each year, but I guess, like, shut up. I guess they're over it now. <laughs> yeah. They they get they threw in the towel. They're like, Hearthstone. Because if they their... had it, they would have shown it, because they were just yeah. piling on. Like, oh, the 31 games? Hell yeah. Yeah. So that. No. Stalker 2. Uh, what is it? Heart of Chernobyl? I was... Okay. Alright. Here's the thing. We won't... We, we probably won't cover this much, this topic much more. Chernobyl? But in yeah the chernobyl games this year e3 every indie every like side conference that i watched had at least two chernobyl games so like <laughs> russia sucks as told by russians is a new genre <laughs> like all of the developers that are making these games are all russian and it's like it's like they they decided to start development on this game and that chernobyl show that everyone has already stopped remember even remembering exists i saw them it came out two years though. ago it came out two years ago that no one talks about anymore because I guess it was great, but then whatever. It was um, quick. It was short. It was done. Yeah, but like stuff like Breaking Bad. I mean, I guess it wasn't quick. Breaking or short Bad or is like yeah, a cultural but like, phenomenon. It is, but like you something that's something that's legitimately great. You know, like Queen's Gambit is still making chess popular on Twitch. Chess is still huge on Twitch. I. Yeah. You know, that was a one and done thing. And that's still very popular. That's still like, people are still talking about that. It's still kind of in the moment. But like, I don't hear anyone, I haven't heard anyone in like two years talk about Chernobyl. Mm -hmm. um, and, but anyway, all these Chernobyl-ish games where Russia is post-apocalyptic, Russia sucks the game, the genre, um, as told by Russians. Uh, this game actually looks great. I was shocked. I, 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 I don't know anything about Stalker. Yeah, I don't know if it has some history. I guess there's a Stalker One or whatever. I think this game looked really great. I was very interested. Um, mm -hmm. I wanted to see more. Honestly, I, no. Is it when you? Is it when you actually play? Or just uh, that's I, neat. I feel like I feel like I'll have to see more. I want to see more. Um, but this is a game that has me very intrigued. That what they showed off was like, wow, that's got me intrigued. I would like to see more, and maybe I will buy it and try it out. Because I see there's a lot in in Xbox here that it's like, oh, that's neat, but I don't think I'll play it. There are a couple yeah. that I'll mention, and I'm like, yeah, I'll definitely play these, yeah. but yeah, that's one of them where it's like, it's neat, but I haven't played Stalker 1. What do I care about Stalker 2? <laughs> and then they uh, they showed Back for Blood, the Left for Dead, like, spiritual successor thing. Yep. This showed up in a lot of things, too. This was also at Summer Games Fest, or Summer Game Fest, or whatever the crap mm. it's called. Which, I mean... For, to me it's like more of the same it doesn't really nothing yeah. here was like oh that that makes me want to play that more it's like i got the idea the first time yeah, it's, it's like, like left, for oh, dead. It's left for dead yeah 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 i mean they don't really have to i don't i don't even know if they really have to sell it anymore than that people are gonna buy it because of that alone you know mm -hmm. yeah so yeah you got it yeah and then but then they had this weird teaser for a game called contraband where there was literally like no footage. That was, it was the just, dumbest trailer. It was trailer. just like co-op, open world, open world co-op or something, and it had nothing. Yeah, it was a trailer showing. I don't know why it's even there. It was that it was one of the thirty games, I guess. It was like add it on. Cool, there it, it is. Like, there it is. It's like, uh, but Phil, we got nothing to show. I need thirty games. I need thirty. Number games. thirty. We gotta put it on. <laughs> 
Hey, I don't even remember what the development studio was behind it either. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't either. Um, then we had uh, Sea of Thieves, A Pirate's Life. What? Jack Sparrow. This actually blew my mind. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was like, I was not expecting to see freaking Jack Sparrow. I mean, it makes sense, right? You would think like, oh, okay, it's, it's, it's Sea of Thieves, it's a pirate game. I wouldn't think Disney was just going to collab and just be like, yeah, we're going to we're going to give you uh, Pirates of the Caribbean assets mm. and Jack Sparrow's likeness. And I mean, it Depp, might be the last Depp. it might be the last of Jack Sparrow we ever see. Who knows? It might be. It might. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that, but um, that's not Johnny Depp. That is just a very, very good sound alike. Yeah, because Johnny Depp would ca- charge way too much money um, Imagine. to be in this video game. I don't really understand what this video game and, then, and they would have him on they would bring him on stage if it was like the typical thing yeah. if he was there it's like and now Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, yeah I think that was the same sound like guy that they did in, had in Kingdom Hearts 3 spoiler for Kingdom Hearts 3 I guess really? that game's been out for two years he's just so known for being it. like a Jack Sparrow sound, sound yeah. like well um, James Arnold Taylor did uh, did Jack Sparrow in Kingdom Hearts 2 and bless him, I think Jay Mars Arnold Taylor is a wonderful voice actor. Uh, he sounds absolutely nothing like Jack Sparrow, and it was a terrible likeness in <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 2, even though the voice acting itself was fine. It was just, it did not sound anything like him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's cool. I mean, I was like, I was getting excited. That that update is free. Um, hmm. That's awesome. All the updates to Sea of Thieves have been free. Um, Sea of Thieves that's, seems like something I would enjoy. Yeah, it's a game that I've played. Uh, I played with my brother, and I've really liked it a lot. I think I was one of, I've actually stated, and I will still stand by this. It's one of the the gaming experiences that I've had the most fun with. Period. Oh, yeah? I had a blast. It was just I had such a great time. It's Did fun. You play it's it just with game. one person, or is it like? No. So, uh, yep. Yeah, so it was it was me and him, and then we we got in a ship with a couple of other people, who I couldn't hear. There was some weird thing. It was I was it was I was on my PC. They were all on their X on Xbox, I think. Mm-hmm. And there was this weird thing on my end that I couldn't hear them. They could all hear me. I couldn't hear them. So my brother had to like kept like reiterating like what they were telling us to do. Um, it was just so much fun. I just had I love well I love like nautical stuff. I love boats and and ships and like pirates. Knots. Yeah. Knots too. Yeah. Um, so. This, this, I mean, Sea of Thieves is just like it's right at my alley. It's a cool, it's a cool game. I think that they've definitely improved on it through updates over time. Um, I think there is, from what I understand, a little bit of a lack of, still kind of a lack of once you finish everything. It's like, what do I do? It's a game that I'd like to just get a bunch of people from like RNG or maybe even the Otaku Brothers community. I think it would be a fun game to play with everybody. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll be down for that. Yeah, especially now with, with you know, you get uh, you get Jack Sparrow in it, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you weren't sold on pirates, how about pirates, right? Yeah. So there they announced that all the Yakuza's are going to be on Game Pass. Just threw that in there. Yeah, there it is. I haven't yeah. played any of them, so including Yakuza Seven, I think too, or Like a Dragon. I think like that's a Dragon, well. yeah, yeah. Um. um I still want to pick that up. Uh, I want to get the PS5 version. I think that only came. I didn't. I don't think that launched. I think that came out. It's supposed to be coming out later. I don't know if it's out already. But the gameplay of that is wild because it's like a turn-based RPG, unlike any of the other Yakuza games. Yeah. Um, But it does in a really fun, fluid, and stylish way. Um, I think it looks great. So I, I want to play through those games at some point. I know. I guarantee you. Me, the weeb, the Japanophile. I would love that game mm-hmm. and that, those those games. I would love them. So I I just need to like just sit down and play them at some point. So yeah, yeah. So they also had Battlefield twenty forty two. Wild uh, trailer. Pretty wild. Wild yeah. trailer. Yeah. And what is it like? Tons of tons of people, right? One hundred twenty eight people online. That's that's it's, like mag too. I would love. I mean, if it works well, that'd be awesome. It, I mean, almost, so, it almost looks too good. I'm like, I was like, what is going on? What is the goal here? The, They're running all over the place. The trailer. Well, here's the thing. But that's that. That to me, that trailer felt it was that was real. I guarantee you that that was real. Like there were stu- there were things that happened in that trailer. They were kind of janky, a little weird. Because I rewatched it. Because it was like 
it was wild. It was like is in, it, absolute insanity. Um, all hell was breaking there, loose. There are things. Yeah, all hell was breaking loose. There was a freaking tornado that was sucking everything up. I was like, what is happening? This but, is wild. We were going all over the place. There was rockets launching. I'm like, what is the goal here? We're just are you just yeah. trying to survive? What's happening? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's like these battlefields. You're just trying to kill everyone. But why are rockets team. launching? Why is it, I don't know what's don't happening. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, and like, what's but, the, I don't understand how it works because they were like grappling there over buildings and stuff. Yeah. It was like, why do you? What's but, your but there was this, here? I don't know. But there was this thing where when somebody like pushed something off a building onto other people, and it just looked super jank and goofy. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's you wouldn't show that in a polished trailer. Like it, it was a very clearly like, that's just showing something you can do in the game. Somebody did that like kind of by accident and it was great. <laughs> um, yeah. I thought, I thought it looked really fun. I, I don't say that often about the battlefield games. It don't really do a whole lot for me. I think the last one I had any interest in was battlefield one. Uh, and that was because of the campaign looked great. This is, doesn't have any campaign. It's all multiplayer. Um, yeah, I think it looks fun. Looks it wild. Uh, this one just looks insane. Is this an Xbox only thing, or is it just a? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. This see, this one's not going to be on Game Pass. This is one of the. This is one of the three that's not on Game Pass mm-hmm. that they showed off. So interesting. Um, I don't. I think this is a multi-platform game. So that's so my I, guess. I might play it on PS4. I would. Yeah, could be into that. Uh, next up, we have 12 minutes. 12 minutes. We've shown this off. This has been around for at least a year, maybe a couple of years now. I'm still down for it. August yeah, I, August 19th, two days before my birthday is coming out. Yeah, it looks great. I'm very intrigued by the premise. It's a little indie title. Um, where it's like this really unique top-down view of this sort of apartment yeah. room. And Daisy Ridley's there. Yeah. Pretty wild. Yeah. I'm down for it though. It looks cool. This is one of the, I feel like I'll definitely play actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm very I've been intrigued from it since they announced it, so looking forward to it for sure. Next up we had Psychonauts 2, which looks fun. Looks fun, three, but again it's one of those things where it's like I don't it's I haven't I, played the first one and, I gotta and play this the one, first one. Yeah. This one doesn't really sell me. Like whenever they show it I'm kinda like, eh, all right. Seems neat, but it's not like, ooh, I have to play that. It looks awesome. I mean, 3D platformers still, you know, they're pretty under underrepresented this year. Um, mm-hmm. This is this is one of the few, and so I think it looks good. looks fun. So you're I, telling I, me I have a moral obligation to I, support this game? No. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> uh, but, uh, uh, no, I, I still got to play the first one, too. I just, I don't remember if it was... I felt like it was ported at one point to modern consoles, but I didn't remember if it was like VR only, like some weird thing like that, or if there was like a. Ooh, Xbox. Bring out the yawns from Xbox. There was like a weird thing. There was like a weird thing with the. Um... I don't know. There was some weird thing about about Psychonauts. There's a lot of weird uh, things about ported. Psychonauts. Oh, yeah. It's you know, like you're you're in people's brains or whatever so i guess yeah the guy has a weird beard too yeah wasn't a fan wasn't a fan so yeah that's neat um yeah i don't know if i'll pick it up necessarily either just because i haven't played the first one um and very in, i'm interested intrigued but probably a game i won't i won't pick up right away so yeah. and i think that one's probably multi-platform too so well, honestly i don't think i'll ever play it in my life okay, i'm just gonna fair. be honest with people <laughs> just gonna be honest with people I don't think I'll, I'll ever touch a controller connected to that game <laughs> <laughs> watch as I you know I'm gonna make it happen I'll make it happen if that's, and then I'll, if that's it'll be, be my case. favorite game it'll be like one of my the, favorite games ever Second Us 2 is one of the greatest games ever made says Zach yeah uh, next they talked about Fallout 76 and they talked about Elder Scrolls Online yada yada don't care yada yada I mean I feel like Fallout 76 I could be into but mm. it's whatever it's whatever next up though Party Animals this is the gang beasts look alike, basically. Uh, very... yeah, I was gonna say, is this maybe it's maybe the same people? It's gotta be, is right? It? I don't know. I wasn't sure if it was just like ripping off the style or if it was actually made by them. Yeah, I was like, this is like gang beats and gang gang beats, gang beasts in Human Fall Flat. Those are both made, but those were both made by the same people, right? <laughs> I human, think so. Human Fall Flat. I played I both that. of them, and they are yeah. very similar. Yeah, I mean, but this is much more like. 
gang beasts and like in terms of yeah. doing all this wacky stuff flailing each other well, around the, i mean the yeah the physics are like to me it's just like because they just basically just incorporated awkward these awkward lanky long long limbed yeah. things it's like awkward it ragdoll looks, physics it, and that genre. makes it <laughs> and that makes it yeah and that makes it hysterical yeah. because it's just like looking at these things like flop around is just funny to look at yeah um, and they have these these cute little animal costumes this party animals yeah. basically just that's the only thing that sets it apart you're just as animals yep. Gang beasts in animal costumes and furry <laughs> suits. <laughs> so, yeah. I'd be down. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's we cute. we could play that. Yeah, that would we, be we fun could play as like our little a uh, fall guys thing. Yeah, Let's talk about that. Can we get like a Tarkron across a Taki Brothers thing going? Just a bunch of party animals. A bunch of party, bunch of party Smacking animals over here. Uh, around. Uh, that uh, can't be Xbox only, right? It's got to be everything. Nah, it's got to be everything, too. It's going to be multi-platform, you'd think. Would have broken the internet if it was Xbox only. It's like, And we're proud to announce have, it's exclusive. Bro- <laughs> Whoa. The, we're going to break the internet with this announcement. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, next up, they, they mentioned Hades. Uh, yep, it's getting, that's coming to Game Pass, getting an Xbox physical release as well. Um, that's cool. Uh I mean, I'm, I'm sounding very dismissive. That game is amazing. Like, it deserves more people to play it. But I mean, like, you can already get it on PC. Mm-hmm. I have it on PC. I own it on Switch. I'll probably buy it for PS5 and PS4 as well. The game is amazing. So it's, yeah, good good, good for them getting it on Game Pass. It's absolutely 100% worth it. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they had this weird, like, 20 uh, cel-shaded thing called Somerville. Uh, it was very. They didn't really show much of it at all. I just I could tell it was like cel shaded in some way. I don't even. I don't even remember. But there's really not much there. It's a teaser. But it's coming yeah. out in 2022, so cool. it's not really much there. Uh, Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite. Uh, so surprisingly, uh, the fact they dropped it in the middle here is almost like, do you not have full faith in this game? Because this is usually like a thing you would end on or like well, really blow people away. I don't know. From what I understand, they they did redeem it somewhat with uh, something I didn't watch, which is they had and they teased it. They talked about it during this. They were gonna have it's a multiplayer their multiplayer like breakdown or whatever. Um, they announced a lot of really cool things in that. Um, that I kind of wish that they had covered maybe here. Um, things like their in terms of like, I think you only have to buy like one battle pass, and that's good for the life of the game. So there's no like season pass um or anything like that you're gonna get like all updates with one battle pass Mm -hmm. um which i think is really cool um i mean i think the game looks great uh they didn't really show a whole lot though still so i don't know is did they did they announce a launch date oh they think they said holiday Holiday. right holiday yeah so i think they're still they're still gonna figure out marketing for this game because like this game has to be great it has to be great it can't be pretty good like halo 4 and 5 it's got to be great um because the in my eyes the franchise is kind of riding on it because i i don't think that they've with what they showed off back back in whenever last last year around this time it was like last july yeah. last august Xbox or whatever. game showcase where they had that terrible that face Right. Yeah, I mean they they're still they're kind of memeing yeah. that. I mean they 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 embraced that meme a little bit, mm-hmm. which is cool. But like, yeah, I mean, yeah, you gotta you gotta you gotta have a better foot foot forward than that. So, Halo is another one of those things where I just never really dabbled in it. So uh, yeah. as a result, I, just every game that comes out will not be really yeah. interesting to me. I'm a fan. I like the series uh, quite a bit, um, but I'm not actually not the biggest on the multiplayer. I think I, I'm I'm more a campaign guy. Um, uh, the campaign's got to got to sell me, but I think the game might be held back because it's going to be on Xbox One as well as Series X. So I don't know. I, I don't I don't know how I feel about that really. That's that's and that's the thing with a lot of these games. They're not like Series X exclusive. You know, it's a lot of them are coming to Xbox One as well. So, mm-hmm. there's a lot of weird sort of stuff with that. Yeah. It's 
So the next few, I'll just rapid fire some of them, and you and you t tell me if you want to talk about any of them. So we got Diablo Two Resurrection. We got a Plague Tale Requiem. Looks cool. We got Far Cry Six again. Again. Slime Rancher Two. Which I didn't, even know any, I didn't even know anything about this first one. I, I didn't know the I didn't know that was what the gameplay was. <laughs> I had no idea when I saw that. That was like that's freaking yeah. adorable. That yeah. looks really and yeah. that looks really fun. As well, well, as, soon, as like, soon as they went into it, where it was like a nice little cute, almost yeah. like blue sky. I'm like, okay, I'll be into this. Yeah, I was kind of into it. I thought <laughs> it looked really cute and fun. Also, yeah. I don't know what what is Shredders. I just wrote down Shredders. I don't remember what that is. Oh, that's the snowboarding one. Oh, that yeah. looked great. Yeah. That look, I that looked really fun. I thought I was like, "Wow, I could use a good snowboarding game in my life." You know? <laughs> yeah, that's look really cool. I don't I think was, I've I ever really down. played a snowboarding game. Yeah. Really, not even like yeah. SSX and none of them. Not even SSX. I, maybe like barely, mm. but I do. I, played, I, I definitely like, need to dabble I, more into that. I played one of the ones during the PS2 era. Or yeah. it was GameCube for me, but yeah, I played one at a friend's house. They're great. Those are fun games. Yeah, um, I'll be down. Yeah, but Cheddar's, it'll never be in my system. <laughs> it looks fun. I don't know if that's multi-platform either. I think that's an in-house. I feel like that's an Xbox game. I think that's an in-house. Uh, Maybe development studio, if memory serves. But. Next up, we have Atomic Heart. What the hell was this trailer? There's chaos happening here. Was this the one? Was this the one with the weird? song that was yes. overplaying yeah i was like tell me more <laughs> i was like this was weird this was the weirdest thing i think at e3 just in terms of yeah, like a game yeah. i had no idea what was happening there was like robotic things going on and then just like action i remember i always watched the uh a song choice that just did not fit at all it was like eurobeat it was like a eurobeat song with like all this grim weird stuff happening yeah, it takes you back, like, because Xbox is just like rapid fire going through these things, and this comes out of nowhere. Then the music kicks in, and there's <laughs> a disconnect going on. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, what is happening? I, I watch. I always watch video games. Awesome, far from subtle. Yeah. I watch them. Oh yeah, they're watching it, and Fraser's like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Fun. I actually I didn't know those guys still still did stuff. Well, it's just Fraser and Becky now. Because they, okay, live, but they live in Japan now. Oh. So Okay. <laughs> they don't do stuff with the guys really. Yeah. But... That's that's fun though. But yeah. yeah it's it's fun to watch. What the <laughs> That's like that's like a David Lynch What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember exactly, but it was funny. Uh... It just comes out of nowhere. And it's still I'm not really sure what to make of that. But I just wrote yeah, it was weird. I was at yeah, I was at Tell Me More. Uh, that's a game where it's like you've in, you have intrigued me. I like weird, zany, strange things, and I'm setting that to a Eurobeat or whatever that was. You, you you made your trailer stand out, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah. So next they had replaced, replaced. Do you remember by name? This uh, is the one where it's like your. Is this the one that's like? You'd remember it if you saw it, but I don't think the name does it justice. It's the really replaced. super cool, like neon graphic style like almost retro feel it looks really unique it looks really nice you get a, okay I, just, yeah, just look it up replaced replaced it's like i i know i know i've heard that i'm just trying to figure out like what what is a sci-fi platformer a dystopian cyberpunk platformer oh oh hold on yes <laughs> yes Yes, this game blew my mind. I was going to say, I expected more this of a reaction game, from you there. This game blew my mind. Well, I didn't remember the name. <laughs> this, it does not have a very... It does not have it's a really very bad name. name. Really bad not name. a great name. <laughs> this game... Yeah, this game looks amazing. It is. It looks like, old, like a very retroist kind of look to it. This game was like four years ago, by the way, that they first showed this off. This is like a while ago. They showed this game. Is off. this the same one? Because it, it gave me similar vibes to you, something I had seen before. There's there was something that they showed off like like three or four years ago, at E3 that was in development, um, and yeah, um, it looks so good. Um, mm. I mean, I just love the whole vibe. It's got this like it's in like kind of a cyberpunk kind of 
setting. Um, I mean, they call it retro future, futuristic or whatever. But yeah, it has like this really unique kind of uh, like super detailed, but in pixel art, like some of the most gorgeous HD sort of visuals in terms of the environments are all like kind of 3D rendered, but mm. the characters that are on them are, it's almost mm. like an Octopath style look mm. to it, but it's a, it's a yeah, 2D like science cool lighting, action game. Lighting to it, it's really nice. Yeah, it looks beautiful. I think... I think there was something that was like it was being developed by one person or something. I don't know if that's that's actually the case, but um, I'm down to clown with it. I feel like the name will ruin it, though. I feel like like no one will know what that is. Replace. Yeah, I, I I do have to say that that kind of. I feel like if Cyberpunk 2077 didn't exist, they would call this Cyberpunk, and they would be like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that game. Cause I think it, the thing, I think the thing about it too. Um, I think the thing about it why, why I didn't necessarily remember. I saw so many indie games this year. I can't remember half of the ones that I thought looked amazing. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, there were just so many uh, because of all the other little pressers and little things that I watched. Pete went through like a bunch of trailers just one time waiting for a stream that had been from another. I I, I just it, it hurt my brain. Hurt my brain. <laughs> how many how many games? It was such a confusing year. E three was nightmare this year but well i know you're excited for grounded the shroom and doom update is coming i didn't even know that game was out it's been out for a year i'm like oh it's not it's not out it's not technically out it's still i think in beta beta wow okay the i i watched um one of my housemates play it it looks fun Hmm. yeah yeah it looks really fun if you're into that kind of thing bugs I like how they had arachnophobia mode. That was funny. They do. That was actually, um, that was actually, uh, I think, lauded as an accessibility feature. Uh um, huh. Yeah. Uh, last year at the, oh, like, really? at both the game awards and just in the press in general. I think it was very nice. I think it was great, a great idea because some people are just terrified of spiders. It is nice, know? but yeah. thematically, why would you play a game that's even like bug adjacent you know i feel like you're scared because of... well it's a co-op game right so you want to play with your friends and your friends are like come play it's like does it have spiders in it yeah it's yeah. got spiders in it. Nah, i'm a little squeamish around spiders and it's like oh well we can turn the slider on and it's like, It'll be a blob. i think that's nice i think that's really it's cool nice that they did it's that. nice what else is nice among us has 15 player lobbies now i don't care update update there's six more colors <laughs> Amo- Woo, we set the world on set the world on fire here. Very sussy. Very sus. <laughs> Very Sets sussy. The world on fire. Man, that's great. All right, uh, fifteen player lobbies is pretty cool though. I feel like that'd be fun. How, how big pretty was the lobbies before? Remind me, is that eight? Ten. Ten. Okay. Ten. But you'd be surprised how much fi- five makes a difference because then you can have like. Usually the standard was the max of like two imposters, but it would make more sense to have like three maybe if you have yeah. 15. So it could be yeah. interesting. could get chaotic. Chaos. L. Uden we'll talk, Chronicle. We'll talk, about, we'll talk about chaos, chaos. later. Yeah. Chaos does describe this E3, though, uh, in more ways than one. Uden Chronicles? So this was a Kickstarter game. Yeah, I didn't know anything about um, this. They talked to very... me like I was supposed to know what it was. It's a Suikoden sort of inspired game with Octopath Traveler visuals. Hmm. This game's still a long ways off, 2023, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, wow, it looks really good. <laughs> it looks great when they showed like the battle and how fast that was, like how fast the the action was. It looked cool. Uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the ascent? Remind me. I wrote it down. Sometimes I just write things down, you know. <sighs> Upcoming cyberpunk themed this action role playing. Oh, yeah, this this game was at Xbox, the Xbox showcase, the Series X showcase or whatever. This was a game this that was announced back then. Um, ah, I'm not really all that interested in it. I don't even remember honest. seeing this. Yeah, this was at their this was at their reveal last year as well. Hmm. It looks looks nice. Yeah, it looks all right. It's Cyber, a lot of really cyberpunk right. going on. I feel like yeah. Cyberpunk ruined something for a lot of people. It's like these games are going to be cursed to have no success no. now. <laughs> it's like that's definitely not that is that is not the case. That is so not the case. The the thing is like that aesthetic and that vibe is still yeah. super. Even even though Cyberpunk, the game that's based on the role play, the, that's based on the tabletop game Cyberpunk, was you know kind of a big a big dud. 
that aesthetic still resonates still help, with a lot of people. Yeah, still killer. Yeah. That's why they put it in uh, the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah. But if, for, if yeah, in like one of the best parts of the that episode, yeah, yeah, it was awesome. I'm telling you, if Cyberpunk 2077 didn't exist, they sh- they would have called replaced Cyberpunk, and it would be like you would know instantly what it was. It'd be like, I don't, oh, I don't, I don't, necessarily, I don't necessarily know if you could because again, I think that hey, I think that you, it's a genre, it's a like yeah, I they, they there's probably some there's probably some like eh, some legal here there I'm sure anywhere in there. So I mean, replace just it's that's just not good. Not a good replaced. <laughs> I don't even know why it's called that. But it needs a, it anyway. needs like a subtitle or something or like another kicker, you know, just to give it some more memorability. Yeah. So uh, you are a history. You love yourself some history, right? So you sure, love yeah. an Age of Empires four. Mm, I'm not a big Age of Empires person. Eh, take it or leave it. I think it looks good for what it is. It's a strategy game, real time strategy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah this this next one was like probably my favorite trailer and that's outer worlds 2 oh yeah what one of the best trailers of the whole thing yeah it was amazing beautiful that made beautiful. me laugh the whole time i was like that was the most honest <laughs> trailer i think i've ever seen in my life it really it is basically an honest trailer is yeah. What it is. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then oh, it's like great. this is all we got to show you is the logo and then the freaking creepy moon face comes in the outer moon world. face guy yeah the, the only thing we have finished is the title so they were just saying what what a lot of these companies don't say is like oh, we have nothing to show so yeah and that's what we got and like we'll just show you the silhouette because the character design isn't finished yet <laughs> and the, and because of this I have the Outer Worlds I just never got around to playing it I was, yeah. I, it looks really fun my housemate has been has played through that uh, and he really enjoyed it he loves these those style of games so I mean, he loved it he thought it was great yeah, um, I want to play that yeah. I need to play more games. Next up was Microsoft Flight Simulator featuring uh, Top Gun. Top Gun stuff. You're going to be playing this at launch. Right? No. No. It looks beautiful, though. The yeah. game looks gorgeous. Yeah. But no, I'm good. But no. Forza Horizon 5. Okay. So this blew my mind. Um, yeah. This game looks really? amazing. Yeah, yeah, I'm there with you. This actually. game <laughs> looks <laughs> kind of amazing. I literally shouted at my TV, "No, that can't be real." No, it can't be real. <laughs> <laughs> They're throwing things at the TV. Yeah. No, no, it can't be. <laughs> oh, man. Um, no, but I was, I was legitimately shouted at the it's TV. Like when people like, no, first saw the like, no, train robbery in movie when theater. they were just when they were showing like the picture of of mexico and i was like no no you, you can see no. the cactus needles you can't do that you can't do that and then they and then it you like boom, keep and they're, away driving, it. they're driving on this photograph and i was like this that's stupid unbelievable how good that <laughs> no, looks so yeah every time every year forza comes around it's like yada yada right forza forza car they would have had a car on stage yeah but uh i'm like wow i actually want to play this game yeah i'm like i'm sold i'm gonna play racing I, games forever now I, I think I think they went they went a tad overboard with the wow okay let's go do this ha 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 oh that was like, cringe <laughs> that was that was terrible I hate I that like, presentation style. I, I hate it too because it's like I mean you know when a bunch of friends are gonna get you together you, you, if actually playing the game online you'd be like lol what a dick and you'd be like yep yeah, screw you man like they'd really, be like actual I, like and they really try to pretend like they're actually playing like yeah they're like showing ha. their little shots of like hey it's just like. Yeah, hey like, John, ah, whatever his stop, name was. Stop doing that. Oh yeah, oh this is great. And I get it. I get I get what they're trying to do. I get it. But it's, it's like, just like, it's like the genuine experience the genuine experience of this game is gonna involve a lot more cursing. <laughs> <laughs> just because like that's what that's hey, what guys you guys want to go play uh, together. You wanna do a race? Sure, I'm in. I'll be right there. <laughs> it's like and then it's like, okay, let's go it's follow like, what God. he's doing. Yeah. But I'm just, like, I'm down. I'm down to play this game. This actually. game looks great. I think it looks great. I would totally be 100 percent down to play this with you. I right. I would just play like yeah, let's go do this. Let's go yeah. let's go drive around. Down to ride. Like I just think an open world driving game just sounds like awesome. You know, and I like, feel like it's never really been done right. Like they had stuff like the crew, right? That was one of the other ones where it was right. like that was like to a be big, the big. I that was like the big thing, and I never 
It never really took off. I think there might have even been more than one of those games too. It wasn't like they weren't, weren't they like pumping up that they had like some of those detailed maps and all of like the entirety of like the USA or something. Mm -hmm. It's like no, you don't. You can't trust these people. You guys are real shifty. Like, when be, they start talking about the like, open world maps, they get real shifty about it. I was like, that would be impossible. Do you know how like just like the the amount of information that you need to actually do that? It's just like that's preposterous. I want the whole country one day. One day, just like I, one day, one day that would be awesome. I would love to just like just drive, drive wherever, drive in a game, and just you can just drive, drive up and down my streets, and just like you know, like <laughs> past, in your past own cars and stuff. Your yeah. actual house, yeah. So I can like People, I can live a live a fantasy of just like of just like going like three hundred miles per hour down these tiny whole new level roads. of uh, doxing will come out of that. I feel like this is gonna yeah, be something. That's kind of a problem. That's big. It's big, like big issue. All right, we're gonna we're gonna map out how we can. Uh, Sneak into this guy's house on Forza, Forza Ultimate Edition, and it's just like, yeah, because you couldn't do that. Also, um, you couldn't really do it. Also, because you'd run into a absolute nightmare of licensing issues. Yeah, hundreds of retail chains. Yeah, yeah. your hundreds of retail chains. Hey guys, I'll meet you at McDonald's. All right, okay. let's pull into the McDonald's over here. All right, be sure to fuel up. I'm going to the Shell <laughs> gas station. Be sure to fuel up. Be sure to get it, go over to Mobile or Sitgo. There's a, there's a, I think there's a Irving over there too. You, you hit, you can hit up, hit that up, and remember to fuel up at the Burger King that's down the road as well. Oh yeah, I hear uh, Comic Cons in town. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Just start running over people. See, there's no people. <laughs> there's no people in Forza, right? It's like a weird, peopleless world. I think. Oh uh, yeah, I don't think there's people. Like there's not even drivers in the cars, kind of. No, there are drivers in the car. I, uh, well, that's actually. I'm pretty question. sure there was a shot in one of the trailers where it was like, "Oh, there's no driver." That's <laughs> <crazy>. <laughs> just like a ghost. Yeah. You are the car. You are Lightning McQueen. Yeah. So I just wrote "beautiful." Look like fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's it is a beautiful one of the most beautiful games look, I think I've ever someone's seen. Someone's playing it now. Outside your house, yeah, beautiful, beautiful game, and I think it looks very fun. Uh, that was sold. a, that was a beautiful. What a what a presentation! That was awesome, yeah, but also cringy. Them. But also well, cringe. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> uh, and that's and that's uh, just about it. They, well, they did one final thing at the very end. They well, they, they bragged thing. they bragged about all their games like we just showed off. They do this every time at the end. They're like. We have one of the most incredible showcases you've ever seen. We threw it off 30 games, and these 29 are on Game Pass, you know? 27, 27. But then they were like, here's one last thing, Redfall. I kind of wish that they had gameplay, but I think it's kind of early in development, so this, I get it. This didn't do anything for me, honestly. Oh, really? Okay, I, I was sold. Uh, this concept, I, I love the idea. I love the fact that we're we're kind of starting to move a little past zombies finally. I mean, we have Back for Blood here, too. So but it's, like, it's an open world game, though? I guess there seems to be some time travel stuff. I don't, I don't really know what exactly it is. I know it's a four player cooperative or whatever. Um, but so this is an I open world vampire great. shooter from the yeah, studio behind Dishonored. Okay. I'm down. I'm totally down. I'm down. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, there's just something about the style. I was like, eh, I'll take it or leave it for now, but we'll I, see. I, I was very intrigued. Count, count, count me intrigued. I'm very intrigued about this. The game, Elder so. Scrolls Six Redfall. Did it get that? Did it get what that is that? Title? No. I don't know why there's a picture of that. All right. So that was Xbox and Bethesda sh showcase. Solid showcase all around. I was like, wow, there's so much. Felt like like a game, like an actual like games showcase. The thing with the Xbox too is like they're really good with the pacing like just game after Great. game and it's like oh god oh, yeah. so many things to write down and up until like forza and then they really slowed it that was like the one thing I, they slowed it down for but they, they do that occasionally and I, I like that i like that they slow things down a little bit every once in a while they focus it they slowed it down a little bit with halo too they, they took a, like a good five mm. five six minutes with halo they spend time with things they do have very good pacing i think they do a very good job with it they they've yeah, because they just they, they don't mess around too much. They're just like throwing games at you. Yeah, and the, and they want to get as many as possible each year. Yeah. It's a point of pride for them. Yep. Yep. So, what would you say is your first year game of the show? Your favorite? 
your favorite game they showed off it's honestly kind of tough um it's it a little bit of a tough up i think i think i'm gonna say replaced with a with like a super super tight margin close second to to forza horizon 5 hmm. um those games were just they're like neck and neck. like i I go back and forth on which one I liked more. If you like, combine the two games, is that the perfect game? <laughs> <laughs> that'd be that'd be wild. That'd be a weird, a weird game. It's just a, what if it's like a really beautiful in the style of Forza, but it's just all cyberpunk. Like wherever you're, you're like driving through cyberpunk areas. Yeah, give me that. Give me that game. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a future, super futuristic. Yeah, that sounds like yeah. Akira. Like, give me that. Yeah. Give me that game. Give me, give me that. <laughs> we got it. We got the magic, yeah. the secret right here. This is so wild. Yeah, I do think I'm going to say Forza Horizon 5 is my game of the show. Yeah. Where have we gone? Forza yeah. was always the laughing stock for me. I was like, oh, Forza. I don't care about Forza. Forza. They, every time, every show, there's another Forza, and it's like they're always really uh, pretentious about it. And it's like, look at the graphical. Have, the graphical piece. fidelity. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, I've been being impressed by Forza for years and, now. And look and at I this car it, on but... stage. Yeah. Look nice at this Forza car. car. <laughs> but somehow some way it's my my favorite game from xbox and and it's not a bad conference so it sounds like oh no. forza is the best game oh. no it's no it was a good conference all around conference. so yeah what letter grade would you give it it's a b plus uh it's it doesn't quite reach the like excellence level that i that like that's like wow that was one of the best e3 conferences i've ever seen Super solid all around. This is one of Microsoft's stronger showings, I would say, E3. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, some stuff that was like, you, you know, it's. I, I feel like they could have done more with Halo, but they didn't like wow me with Halo at this thing. Um, they should, they could have put, I wish they'd showed more Starfield, but you've got really intriguing new properties with the Red, Red, whatever the hell, Red, Redfall, Redfall, Redguard, Redfall, <laughs> Redguard is Elder Scrolls. Uh, Redfall, um, you've got cool stuff like that. Then you have Forza Horizon, Replaced, uh, Freaking 12 replaced. Minutes. We can't talk um, about that game like Replaced. Yeah, and uh, um, yeah, great showing all around. Good job. Solid, yeah, very I mean, solid. And we, it's kind of how it came together is all seamless, but I mean, this is the joining yeah. of two. You previously was Xbox, Bethesda separately. I'm, I'm glad that they did together. this together. Yeah. I mean, they have to. I'm they should they now bought because they bought their asses bought out. Bought them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I that's a different topic, but it's it's good for the industry, isn't it? It's yeah, fun. monopolizing. That's great. That's a good job. Good. That's a good call. Good. <laughs> I think good I would. I think I'll also give it a B plus. Yeah. I think this personally is might be my favorite. It's. I mean, it's close between two, but I think this might be my favorite conference. Mm. Um. So I would think maybe A minus, but I don't know. I think it's just yeah. B plus is like the peak for me this year. So yeah, just from in terms of uh, what we got going on, I think they did really well. Yeah, I, I like really it. loved it. All right, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's what we got. Zach, what should the fine watchers of this? What, what should they get check out after they see this? This has been our longest video, significantly longest video we've ever made. So go check out our review of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Hell yeah. Check it. What if they made a Forza, a game in the style of Forza Horizon, but it was the Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Yeah, what if? <laughs> <All right. laughs> Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to our podcast feed. Like the video. Leave a comment. Hit the notification bell. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And like us on Facebook. Tarkaron T-W-O. Woo! All right. Thank you.